everyone, and welcome to my new doll repaint video. And this is, guys, actually the very first doll makeover of the new year, and I've decided to start the 2024 with customizing a doll that I've never repainted before. I know it's difficult to believe. I've been sitting here on YouTube for more than seven years. I've customized hundreds, literally hundreds and hundreds of Monster High dolls, but there are still some Monster High dolls that I've never repainted before. And right now I'm talking about this beautiful Honey Swamp Monster High doll. I think this is one of the most beautiful dolls in the entire Monster High family, in the entire collection of dolls. First of all, I really love her hair. This is the prettiest doll hair ever, not just on Monster High dolls, but just uh, out of all dolls. I really love her curly hair. So yeah, her name is Honey Swamp. She is a daughter of a swamp monster and she is also a southern belle. So there is a lot to work on, uh, lots of good ideas. So let's give this beautiful doll a complete makeover today. I have already some ideas what I'm gonna do and I think it's gonna be very, very, very interesting. So let's keep this intro very short. Let's start working. But first of all, of course, guys, I have to remind you to subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the bell button to get notified fight about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday or every second week Friday, depends kind on the size of the project. And of course guys, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you like what you are seeing here. So, and this being said, let's start the transformation. This doll is absolutely stunning and I'm not even talking about her gorgeous hair, like look for example at all these things on her body, like some plants, swampy motifs. Her hands are also very detailed, really beautiful, a beautiful doll. And then she has a beautiful face and her hair, I've mentioned already multiple times today for everyone to realize that I really like it. So I think I will try to keep her original hair, but I will try to change it a little bit. So let's see how it will work. So I will begin like always with removing all the doll's original features, disconnecting the head from the body, and then I will remove her face with pure acetone, and then I will continue. Okay, the first step is done and now I want to see what I can do about her hair. I want her to be a swamp queen and also a woman of color, you know, a southern belle, this is who she is. So I think she should have dark hair, maybe kind of greenish, something swampy, green, dark. But if I put this hair into boiling water, we will lose the curls. Probably, normally, <laughs> but let's try it anyway. I don't need no pastel mint hair in today's project. The only thing is that I will not boil water, but I will keep the temperature at about 80 degrees Celsius, something like this. Maybe it will save the curls. And I will use this dye for synthetic fabrics for this experiment. <music>
and look what the perfect swampy green hair color we've got as a result. It's like a mix of green and gray, I don't know, it cannot be more perfect for my swamp queen. I soak her hair in the fabric softener for about an hour probably to make it even more soft and shiny, but I think it will work out perfectly. check it out guys this is how it all looks after I washed off the fabric conditioner and after I dried her hair and I think it's absolutely perfect it just cannot be better such a gray green color very dark beautiful now let's seal her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then we can start working on her face so, she is a Southern Belle, and even if you don't know it, you understand that she's normally a black woman based on her hair and facial features. So, I want to turn her into a normal looking woman of color. And when I say of color, I mean black, because now she's also a woman of color, but the color is green, and it's not the point. I'm going to change it today. I use, like always, a color theory to go from green to brown and for this I have first neutralized the green color with red or with some pink and then I've applied peach and brown pastels on top of it. She had originally those frog eyes, like yellow with those vertical pupils, and I think I will keep this feature, it looks really cool to me.
Okay, here is the face and now I want to work on her body. First of all, I want to fix her legs because you can see that there is something strange going on here. You can see that her knees are bending both backwards and forwards, so this poor creature cannot even stand straight properly. I don't know what happened here really, guys, but I will add a drop of hot glue to her joints to create so sort of, I don't know, stoppers that will prevent her knees from over bending forward. Yes, now it works the way it should. And now we can blush it with soft pastels. beautiful things on her body I will cover with golden paint. I think they deserve to be better visible. And yes, these are the finished face and the body. Very good. Everything looks perfect. We are done. So now let's check out her hair. How it looks after sitting under all this plastic for days. Yep, everything still looks very good to me, the curls are perfect and you know, I think I want to keep her hair like on the ponytail on top of her head with the curls framing her face, I think it will be very pretty and the color is perfect, still very happy about it. Good, now let's make a dress for our Swamp Queen and I want to use this beautiful lace trim for it. But unfortunately it's too short for a doll. I want my dress to be very very long and this length is good just for a skirt. So I will connect two pieces of the trim together to create one big and long piece. Yes, nice. It will do. You can see the length is very good. So now I will connect the sides of it. Then I gather the shoulder line. I cut holes for her arms. And add a brown ribbon to the waistline. Great, it looks very good, but this is of course just the base of a dress and now we'll decorate it to make it all swampy and mossy and I've bought this fake moss especially for this project and also some super cute grass bushes and flowers so now we'll glue it all to the bottom of her dress. begin with applying moss, two different colors of moss and then on top will come grass bushes and yellow flowers.
So now it looks absolutely lovely. I'm already a fan of it, but I think it still needs some special detail, sort of an accent. And I think that bright and colorful red mushrooms with those white dots will look amazing here. So how do we make mushrooms? This is a question. I think I will use Warbler thermoplastic and these tools, I don't know how to call them, with balls on the end. People use them in sculpting and also for decoration decorating cakes, they're everywhere available. So I warm up small pieces of warble, I wait until the thermoplastic gets soft and I wrap it around those metallic balls. I let it harden again, trim the sides, And check it out, we've just made a super cute mushroom top. So now let's make a bunch of them. The stem, or how do you call this detail, I don't know, I'm not good in naming details of mushrooms in English, like this leg of a mushroom, I will also make out of warbler, and then I will attach it to the heads with hot glue. And I think this is just adorable. Check it out. A bunch of tiny mushrooms. Now let's paint them. Super cute! This is my favorite part of the project so far, so now let's install the mushrooms to the dress. Check it out, this is what I've made, I don't know, I think this is one of the coolest outfits I've ever made in my life, really, I'm simply in love with it, I think it deserves a like, really. The moss looks fantastic, both from far and from close, also very happy about it, and the mushrooms, one love. So now she needs a pair of shoes and I think I will customize this pair. I will cover it first with brown acrylics and then I will decorate the shoes with moss and flowers, kind of the same like the dress.
this is what I've ended up making. Check it out. I think this pair of shoes will go perfectly with the dress. I thought these are some eco-friendly looking shoes, but they're very pretty, very cute. Also another pair of shoes that nobody will never see under this dress. Oh no, you can see them a little bit through the lace. That's good, I'm happy. Now I still want to make a headpiece for her, some sort of a crown or something like this. And I will use a couple of leaves from this plastic plant as a base of my crown. I will attach a pin, it will connect the headpiece to the doll's head. And then I will decorate it with a mushroom and also with some moss and flowers. Also the same like the dress and the shoes. And then the spiky ends of the crown I will paint gold. I think this is a perfect crown for a swamp queen, very pretty, fits the rest of the outfit, the rest of the doll. So now I just need to attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Swamp Queen and I think that she is one of the prettiest dolls I've ever made, really. The vibe and the color scheme are so beautiful, really, like this combination of brown and dark green with red and gold accents. Uh, they work amazingly together, I really love it. The style of her dress definitely gives me a Southern Belle vibe. And the mossy swampy part turns her into a real daughter of a swamp monster, really, the true swamp queen. I had so much fun creating that green mossy texture, it was really new and interesting and also very satisfying for me. And also making those mushrooms, it was for sure the mini project of the year, even though the year has just begun. Uh, her hair looks amazing, I'm very happy I managed to keep her original hair and original curls it's like a part of her identity so I really wanted to keep it but change the color and you know it worked out very successfully very happy with her hair color so in general I'm very happy with this doll and now guys I'm really ready to hear your thoughts and opinions what do you think about this doll and what part of this project was your favorite and how do you find my mushrooms <laughs> let me know in the comments so Write all your thoughts down in the comments and if you want to buy this doll, please check my eBay page. She is there for sale for three days and the link is in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was it. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon on Friday, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe next week, maybe in two weeks, but it's gonna be cool. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.